In this video, we'll discuss how to access and share remote aircraft status information. After completion of this video, you'll be able to successfully refresh the remote aircraft status, or RAS, from your mobile devices and describe the limitations that go with it. The first thing to keep in mind is that you'll need an active GDL60 Data Link Service LTE subscription. RAS is not available with the Wi Fi only subscription. The GDL60 allows the pilot to remotely query and access key parameters directly from the aircraft in near real time through Garmin Pilot. This can include, but is not limited to, fuel and other fluid quantities, temperature and voltage sensor readings, and aircraft location. When the GDL60 receives a query request, it activates a discrete output which triggers equipment to power on and provide data to the GDL60. Data is aggregated by the TXI and GI275 and then transmitted by the GDL60 to Garmin services over LTE. The GDL60 will deactivate the discrete, removing power from the TXI, GI275, and GEA once the data has been collected. To access the remote aircraft status on the map page from the Garmin Pilot application, select the aircraft icon on the menu bar at the bottom of the screen. If more than one GDL60 equipped aircraft is available on your account, press Select Aircraft and make your selection. Pressing on the blue refresh symbol in the upper right corner will initialize the wake up of the GDL60. Once the aircraft is powered on, the GDL60 will read the sensors and the live query will be complete and update the appropriate gauges to reflect the aircraft. A refresh can take several minutes to populate. On this page, it's possible to see important information such as oil temperature, battery voltage, outside air temperature, fuel levels, as well as hobs, flight, and tack time. Gauges that appear here will be pre-configured by the OEM and your Garmin dealer. Continue scrolling down this page, and you'll find a map location for your aircraft, as well as the METAR for the surrounding area. At the top right of this page, you'll see a menu selection that allows for configuring the view. Here is where you select to allow viewing of the database status, sensors, and aircraft location. If you have a compatible Garmin watch on the same account as your GDL60, you'll have access to the PlaneSync widget. With it, you can access the remote aircraft status information directly from your watch. Within the widget, press the top right button to query your aircraft, or, if more than one airplane is on your account, choose Select Aircraft to pick between them. Once the live query is complete, the appropriate gauges are updated to reflect the aircraft status. You can now scroll through the available information, for example, the HOBS or TAC time fuel levels, or even pull up a map to see the aircraft's current location. To share remote aircraft status with someone using Fly Garmin, first, sign into your Fly Garmin account. Select the Devices tab, and then click Manage Sharing. Select Add User, and type in the email address of the user you'd like to add. Be sure that Can Receive Aircraft Data and Remote Aircraft Status are both set to Allow. And then click Add User. The invite then shows under Pending Invites. When the user logs into their Fly Garmin account, they receive a notification of the pending invitation. They can then click on the notification and then click to accept the aircraft. They will also receive an email notification, which takes them directly to this page. Once accepted, the user can access the aircraft information from their Devices and Aircraft tab. To remove a user, from the Devices tab, select Manage Sharing. From here, you can select to disallow remote aircraft status and receive aircraft data, or remove the user.
the GDL-60 requires a hot battery bus for data transfers to and from the aircraft while the aircraft is powered off. The GDL-60 provides configurability to ensure that its energy drawn from its connected battery stays within the levels allocated for the GDL-60 and its operations. Note, a hot battery bus implies the GDL-60 has constant power from the ship battery. This is wired by the installer and does not require the pilot to leave the master on while parking. Do not leave the master switch on when securing the aircraft after flight. The energy required for the GDL-60 will vary depending on several factors, including wireless network signal quality, size of databases, avionics powered on during a live aircraft state query, and the number of live aircraft state query events. Battery assessment and allocation requirements will be determined and configured by your dealer during installation.